The Air Force's new stealth fighter may still be on hold, but it looks like the effort to build its powerful new engines is still going at full steam ahead. This week, the Defense Department allocated as much as another $2.5 billion each to both General Electric and Pratt and & Whitney for continued development and prototype construction of their forthcoming XA-102 and XA-103 engines, both based directly on their previous prototypes that have been tested over the past year or two. These new engines are intended to power the next generation of tactical aircraft, which includes both the Air Force's NGAD fighter and, all but certainly, the Navy's new FAXX fighter as well. These designs build off of the technology currently found and the most powerful turbofan ever affixed to a fighter, the Pratt & Whitney F-135, which currently powers America's F-35. The F-135 produces a jaw-dropping 43,000 pounds of thrust under afterburner, more than any other turbofan engine in history, while also taking great pains to reduce both radar and heat signatures. And even more incredibly, it does all that with roughly 40% fewer parts than previous generation turbofans. In fact, to this day, neither China nor Russia have managed to field engines for their own stealth fighters that can match the F-135's power, stealth, and electrical production. But Uncle Sam isn't looking to rest on his engine laurels here, and these new adaptive cycle engines have been in the works since 2022. And when I spoke to the folks at GE about their XA100 prototype a few years ago, they were already reporting a 25% increase in fuel efficiency and as much as a 20% increase in power output over even the F-135. These engines can accomplish this by operating in two different functional modes, sort of like VTEC for tactical turbofans for you car guys. When flying under normal conditions, these engines operate in lower power, high efficiency mode, stretching the reach or the endurance of the aircraft until it finds a fight. At that point, it transitions to high power, low efficiency mode for when hot rod performance really matters. Now, what aircraft these engines will ultimately power remains up in the air. But with as much as $7 billion invested into this technology by 2032, whatever it is, it'll be nasty.